Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe now. Combine the Echo's weight savings with its smaller 17-inch wheels and tires, which promise lower rolling resistance than the 19-inch setup on the Sport and Limited, and you get the highest EPA fuel economy estimates in the Tucson range. In front drive guys, the Echo is rated at 26 miles per gallon city and 33 miles per gallon highway, with all-wheel drive, it's 25 31sts of a mile per gallon. Those numbers range from 2 to 5 miles per gallon better than the SC and 1 to 3 miles per gallon better than those of the Sport and Limited with the same powertrain. We didn't find the Echo's efficiency advantage to be as great in the real world. We recorded 25 miles per gallon over 1,000 miles, a good number for a compact crossover but only a 1 mile per gallon improvement over the last turbocharged Tucson we tested. As a consolation, the Echo's weight advantage paid dividends at the track, it was quicker to 60 miles per hour, 7.4 seconds compared with 7.6, and posted a higher, 0.84 gram cornering figure than the limited we previously tested. Those numbers place the Tucson Echo near the head of the class, at least among its all-wheel drive peers, with none topping its grip figure and only the more powerful GMC Terrain V6. Kia Sportage 2.0T, and Subaru Forester 2.0 XT outgunning it to 60 miles per hour. Outside of the test numbers, the Echo's electrically assisted power steering is as numb, yet still accurate, as the tellers in other two sands, and the suspension tuning yields a comfortable and secure ride. Ride comfort is as cosseting as it is in the base Tucson SE, the only other member of the family with 17 inch wheels and tires. As in other turbocharged Tucsans, the engine goes about its business quietly, the dual-clutch automatic doing its best to exploit the torque on hand and keep engine revs low. We detected only faint chatter from the clutches, a common niggle with transmissions of this type, and usually only when starting on a hill under light throttle input. More deliberate jabs of the accelerator engage the clutches smoothly and quickly after which the transmission cracks off crisp upshifts in its quest for the highest gear practical for a given road speed.